Hello! Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. This is a web series where we talk about movie shows. Yeah. Uh, before we get going, uh, this is our Halloween episode. Ooh, and just before Halloween. It is also an election year. Ooh. So it is time for me to give you an October surprise! What? I'm throwing my hat into the presidential ring. No. That's right. Right in candidate. Here's why you should vote for me. I don't know what Aleppo is. No. Nope. I can't tell you about any other world leaders that I like. You're anti-vaccination. And if I was a celebrity, I'd be grabbing so much pussy. <laughs> you you tick all the boxes. I tick all the boxes except for the one you where I'm qualified to grab and my a woman. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Didn't work out. No, I'm not a celebrity. I shouldn't have done that. I apologize. Uh, I am your host this episode, Todd Anderson. I'm here with fellow film pig, Steve Skelton. Hello. Stephen Falk is not here. He He's had to not. go to a Dodgers game. A business Dodgers game. A business Dodgers game. Business baseball. Business baseball. Um, but he will show up later, probably on his phone. It'll be blurry and crappy but it'll have good I love opinions. the ones where he's in a trailer and he's like hey I'm in the trailer and he has like an accent. I like the ones where he's I don't know where but he doesn't bother to fix the lighting or the focus on I like the one where he's on a chair that's swirled. Oh yeah. So it makes you constantly sick. spinning. Stephen yeah. please be on a swirly chair. Uh, we hope. We can only hope. <laughs> it's um, gonna be a problem when we start doing our shows uh, in the VR. Right. So it's important business thing that he's doing at the Dodgers game because uh, you're the worst. And speaking of that, our very special guest is Kether Donahue. Kether. She's back for the 40 bazillionth time. Usually I'm there. Yeah. Often she hosts. Yeah. This time she's just a straight up guest. Oh, We're yeah. keeping her in the guest chair mm -hmm. and treating her right. Kether well, Donahue. Well, you did grab me by the pussy. <laughs> I, I forgot I wasn't a celebrity for a second. I, it happens to all men. Yeah, but that was her. But that was for campaign purposes. Yeah, I was just trying to be president. Then that's how you do it. You grab some puss. <laughs> Woo! Vote for me. <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna start this show like we do all the time uh, with this segment we call Rash. Judgments. What is that? Well, uh, let me tell you, yeah, uh, Steve, Steve Scallon, what rash judgments are is this. There's a lot of movies coming out yeah. this weekend oh, at yeah. the Cineplex. How do you choose? I don't know. You want to see a movie. Maybe you want to take your uh, lady friend or your boyfriend to a movie in the hopes of getting them randy and getting you in the sack so you can make babies. So sack babies. You got to choose the right movie for sack babies. So who do you turn to? Do you turn to professional critics? No. They can't relate to you. They don't have to pay for the movie. And they don't know anything about sack babies. And they don't know shit about sack babies. So who do you turn to? You, you turn to the internet? Mm -hmm. No, because there's a bunch of haters out there. We don't have room for haters. No, no hate. You turn to us. Yeah. And here's what makes our opinions expert. We said so. Have we seen the movies? Nope. Uh, We're no. just like you. We only have to go based off the trailers. Based off the trailers and what we know about the people who are in the trailers or have the names in the thing at the end of the trailer. Or maybe not even that. Or maybe not. Maybe we're just going to talk. Yeah. Because this is the internet. We don't need an education to have an actual opinion. No. Uh, look at the presidential race. There you go. Steve Skelton, what is your rash judgment? You guys, my rash judgment is for a movie called Oasis Supersonic. Sounds great. I love things that are supersonic, and I've always wanted to go to an oasis. What, pray tell, Steve Skelton, is this movie about? This is a documentary, a rockumentary, if you will. Uh-oh. Uh, about the uh, band Oasis. Okay, I'm out. I'm all, I'm out. I'm, I'm all ears right now, yeah. though. I want to hear more. So this oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Christ, I forgot. It's our Halloween episode. <laughs> Creepy dog. Oh. All right, go on with your Oasis bullshit. Everything happens for a reason. You this ran is into such it. a mess. Anyway, Oasis, it's a band that was uh, jumped to stardom in the 90s. 
uh, it's a British band, and they were the forefront of the Britpop movement in the 90s. And then... Uh, Did they, they have any scary songs? And uh, I don't know if they had any scary yeah, songs. Yeah, they did. It was called Fucking in the Bushes. Fucking in the Bushes. There's nothing scarier than fucking Oasis in some bushes. And then and then they uh, fell out of favor and popularity. And oh, dude, you open the box. You're ruining its, its resale It's no value. longer mint. Uh... <laughs> And then they, you know, because uh, the Gallagher brothers are difficult, and so I think the documentary is about um, the three-year period when they rose to fame, and it says nothing about how, because they were kind of jerks, that people stopped caring about them. But it's been getting a lot of good reviews, and I'll watch it when it eventually shows up on Netflix. I think it's really important that you enjoy the music of Oasis if you want to see this documentary, yeah? Well, that yeah, that would help. Because it's not like a crime documentary about Oasis no. committing a crime. I don't think they've committed... Well, they have committed crime. It's well, okay, Annabelle. I'm, not, I'm not in their legal department. I'm not going to watch it. It'll be on Netflix, and maybe I'll check it out because I like rock documentaries. Shh, Annabelle, don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared of Skelton's rash judgment. It's just a band named Oasis. <laughs> We're hey. scared of you right now. <laughs> Actually, that's fucking weird what you're doing. <laughs> you're living up to the Halloween episode. Yeah. It's getting real creepy up in here. <laughs> Speaking of creepy, let's find out what Steve Falk's rash judgment is. Hey, Steve, what's your rash judgment? Hey, this is a rash judgment for The Windmill. It's a horror movie in the Netherlands, uh, and some Australian girl is there, and they're on a bus bus trip to go see a bunch of some windmills and then they, they get stopped all jeepers creeper style and there's a guy with a scythe and there's some legend about a dutch guy who sold his soul to the devil in order to um keep the windmill going with wind or no wind and then the kids are running around and you know it's a horror movie i don't know it looks dumb to me but <clears throat> todd will see it Oh, oh. Hey. Yeah, it was so surprising and uh, like a curveball. I never right. know which amazing. way he's gonna go. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing just he's, to listen to him talk. He said so many things. Yeah, yeah. What'd you think, okay, Annabelle? Yeah. What'd you think? Stop. <laughs> she Stop. liked it. She Stop liked talking it to the doll. Kather Donahue, what is your rash judgment? Uh, do you like the Da Vinci Code? <laughs> do you like Tom Hanks? I do. I like him. Do you like Dan Brown? <laughs> do you like Felicity Jones? Mm. Uh. <laughs> I'll tell you what I think. I love Felicity Jones. I really do. Okay. I think she's that's fair. a great actress. I think she's adorable. There's something about her that's very compelling. I like watching her. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love Tom Hanks? Uh -huh. Let's just skip past that one. <laughs> Look. Inferno. <laughs> Inferno. Um, <laughs> it got 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. I personally am not going to see it, but I understand why people would see it. Uh, it's a thriller. It's based on the Dan Brown novel. Uh, I mean, eh. You know who you are <laughs> if you're going to see it. No matter what I say, it's not going to stop you or make you. It's one of those movies. Are you talking to Trump supporters? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It's one of those where, you know, on film, pigs, on film Pig, sometimes you hear about a movie and you genuinely want to know, oh, should I see that? Should I not? With Inferno, you know <laughs> if you're going to see it. So whatever I say really has no merit. It's just me talking about a trailer. That makes sense. Which, as I was watching the trailer, I had to pause it and say to Todd and Skelton, what is this about? <laughs> so, uh, it kind of went right over my head. I, I had too much ADD to even finish the trailer. Uh, so you know if you're gonna see it or not, quite frankly. Yeah. You know, that's my honest rash judgment. I think that's entirely fair and I'm glad you said what you said about Inferno starring Tom Hanks, directed by Ron Howard. Annabelle? <laughs> I don't like Robert Langdon movies. Is that the character? <laughs> hey Annabelle, what, what do you think about the burbs? I love the burbs. It's funny and scary at the same time. 
It's hey, Scout, let's do a bit from the burp. All right. Uh, oh, it's a bone. Yeah, well, no, it's a femur. It's a femur bone. We did a bit from the burp. There it is. Annabelle and Skelton doing a bit from the burps. Classic. Hey, it's Halloween, so we should probably show you a trailer from a scary movie, right? Oh, I'm yes. into, it's very relevant to uh, today's culture. As mm -hmm. any good horror movie should be, this is a metaphor for today's world. Um, and uh, I'm very excited. It's a yeah. world premiere trailer. It's really good. Uh, nobody's ever seen this before. I'm very excited. It stars uh, our favorite uh, lady, Kether Donahue. It was one of my favorite movies to shoot. Ooh. It, it's, I had a ball. It's, it's amazing. And you guys are lucky that it's happening. So uh, what should we do? You want to ask Annabelle? Yeah, I was thinking, Annabelle, what do you think we should do? I think we should roll it! I'm a demon! <laughs> I don't want to ruin the resale value. Yeah. Hey, you want to carve this pumpkin with me? Then later we can roast the seeds. It'll be the best night ever. Man, what, what are you doing? It's chocolate! Halloween! What are you thinking, man? Oh, it's like a Halloween of chocolate and pumpkins! You don't know about her in the color orange? I guess I don't. Jesus, man, how could you not know about her in the color orange? She's terrified of the color orange because of what happened to her when she was a little kid. Well, what? What happened? Oh, God. It's too awful to even talk about. What are you looking at? Oh, what are you doing, dude? First you terrify a woman and now this? I'm not looking at anything. I was just staring meaningfully off into the distance. You know, a wistful, sad stare thing. Uh, oh, okay. Way to ruin a moment, great job. Really good job. I'm gonna try to pick it up. You're doing it again. So, the color orange. Let's talk about the color orange. I can't. But that's why you're here, to talk about your problems. I'm a psychiatrist. That's my job. You don't understand. Talk about what happened when you were a little girl. I won't. I will not. I don't ever want to think about Halloween ever again. All right, we'll talk about something else. Different subject, completely unrelated. Candy corn! <sighs> orange! Orange! There is orange on that horrible, horrible candy! <sighs> horrible, horrible candy! Dad, tell me what candy corn! Tell me what happened when you were a little girl! Tell me what happened when you were a little girl! <laughs> it was Halloween 2016. It was an election year. I was just a little girl. I just wanted to go trick-or-treating like any other gal. <laughs> Trick-or-treat! <laughs> oh, wow! What a great basket! Blacks, Hispanics, living in hell, get shot just walking down the street. Mexico's coming with drugs. We gotta build a wall. I'm a celebrity, so I get to grab your pussy! Ah, 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 ah. Oh God, it's a basket of deplorables! Ruining media! Media! <laughs>
Bullshit media! It's rigged! It's all rigged! Yeah. 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 Holy oh. mackerel! That was terrifying. Look at how scared Annabelle is. And she's terrified. She she terrified. Actually, I'm better than I thought yeah oh my god that's always great yeah like I you felt good about it. it but even better oh what you god. saw oh, I, don't, I don't like watching myself on camera after yeah. i do something but this just the whole movie itself was made so well i'm hooked yeah I'm it's hooked. a very passionate performance i think you Thanks. like really did way more than you should have. Oh, um, that think... was well, just a passion, very emotional performance. Oh, okay, yeah. so, like maybe yeah. it was, oh, okay. maybe. Okay, this is dead air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great, and uh, I've had a great time. Annabelle has had a great time. Um, so uh, we should wrap this up. Yeah. We should Stephen wrap Falk this. had a great time too. Yeah, he had he a great did, time yeah, at the baseball game. Yeah. yeah, he had a good time doing the show at a baseball game. <laughs> um, I would like to thank Steve Skelton. Oh, thank you for uh, doing the program. Uh, I, I would like uh, Stephen Falk for phoning it in. Uh, I'd like to thank. Annabelle? That's creepy. For being a creepy doll. She's very creepy. Um, sit on my lap, sweetheart. Yeah. And okay, uh, now that's... <laughs> oh, that's too creepy. I'm getting creepy. I went too continue. far. I've yeah. gone too far. Hey, you guys, regardless of how creepy I am, Kether Donahue is fantastic. And you should watch yes, her yes. on You're the Worst. Um, you should watch, is Grease Live like available on Blu-ray or something? It's people? on Netflix. It's on, it's on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. And you're the, the first two seasons of You're the Worst are on Hulu. Yes. And the third season of You're the Worst is airing right now. If you've been keeping and up to date. And we got picked up for a fourth, fourth season. season. Yeah, there's yeah. more to come. Yeah, exactly. If you watched it, if you're watching this on the day it arrives. Which is a Thursday. Which is a Thursday. And you watch You're the Worst last night. You saw my naked ass. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Oh, no, let's do it. Uh, I have been your host, uh, Todd Anderson. Uh, happy, happy, happy Halloween. Enjoy your trick-or-treating. Get some candies. But remember, if you come here looking for candies, yeah. the concession stand has been closed due to health code violations. Oh, so yeah, we never cheers our popcorn. Oh, we shit. Did it. You fucked the I whole show up. fucked it up. See, this is what happens Happy when I Halloween. come here and I don't host. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Thank yeah. you. Oh, thank Good God. job, Todd. We got that in at the end. Yeah, mm. and you're obsessed with your doll and mm. forgot to toast. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Annabelle. Oh, God. So nice. <laughs> Touch my doll. You need to fuck off. <laughs> All right, we'll see you. Um, well, maybe we won't see you. No, I'll just stay here with my doll. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Halloween.